one of the best ways you can give value to your customers by teaching them and teaching them online in a, in a, in a learning environment is going to help you. One is going to reduce your support costs because they can do more self-service, but it's also going to, you know, build customer loyalty and, and just help customers adopt your technology or your, your services a little bit better. So in this video, I'm going to go through this new product that just came across my desk called Academy Ocean and show you how this looks once you start your trial and you get inside and start leveraging it. Stay tuned. Hey guys, this is David with TechSmart Boss. I'm about to do a new trial of this product right here, Ocean Academy. And you know how I love to have my community of people on YouTube and Facebook see these, give you ideas for your business. Now, this product is all about making a, a an academy for your your business so you know we always talk about educating your customers either on your product or on the service that you offer academies are a great way to build brand loyalty and just to provide that value uh, to customers and you know in my primary business Yerby I have an academy I'll show you that you know this is the academy that we have and you'll see I have a series of courses that are free for uh, my customers. I'll show you what they look like. You know, they can go through step by step and inside each module here, you'll see text and video. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. This works well. But now I built this particular academy on a platform called Teachable. And uh, Teachable is a great platform. Uh, it's affordable. I think I can do this because I'm not selling courses. I'm on their basic plan, uh, which I think is like $39 per month. You'll see here powered by Teachable. Uh, but there are some inefficiencies in the process with Teachable in that people have to enroll for your school. Then they have to enroll for each class. And there's just a lot of, um, you know, process efficiency that could take place, especially when you're not selling a course. You just want to have a real smooth transition for your customers. Now, this is an example of the Ocean uh, Academy Ocean process. They, you put in a password, and I'll, I'll go ahead and put in a password that I've already used to sign into here. You set your password, or in this case, I enter my password, and then it takes me directly into the course that uh, I, I want to continue to work on. And you'll see it's just a, a, a nicer, cleaner, there's less distraction, there's less Chrome, um, so it has a really nice style. So that's why I reached out to uh, the founder of this company and I wanted to take a look. And you'll notice here if I were to take a look, I can also have multiple courses that I would uh, go in and look at. And they also have some things like progress reports and certificates and some, some other nice features. But what I, what I like most about it is just the cleanness of it. Uh, especially again uh, for your, your customers. You want it to be clean and smooth and, and, and less friction for them to kind of click around and, and, and see the things that they need to see. So I'm on the page here where I can go ahead and set up a trial. So let's go ahead and fill out this. I'm going to fill this out for uh, my business account because this is something that I would actually use in my primary business, which is 5,000 fish. And I'll go ahead and set a password on this and agree to their terms. Let's get started and see what their onboarding process is and how that looks. But that was really simple. I'm in the I'm in my academy already and you'll see here that I can create a course uh, and, and get right to it. So you know let's actually click through some of these items here. Now this is a new feature. I just actually got an email that they have a new dashboard which is which is awesome. I, I really like the way as a company that creates dashboards for other companies. I already like what I see here. I've got a KPI key metric here that I can tell by any time frame, and uh, looks like I might need probably a little bit wider frequencies uh, if you're, you know, like maybe this week and this month. But I can see how many learners are online. This appears to be drilled down. If I would click on that, it'll probably take me to a yep. It'll take me to a list of the actual people online. That's really nice. I can see. Uh, you know progress here I can see geographic location uh, so that's a nice dashboard no problems with that let's look at some of the settings that we can control uh, page layout so they've got some layout controls which is very nice you see right away I'm not doing any coding I'm not having to come in here and write style sheets and, and, and HTML 
So you're getting the advantage of their already created templates, which is nice. I can put my logo in. One of the nice things I like about them is you can set your custom domain. So that same Yerby, uh, you know, academy.yerby.com, I can transfer over to here. So these look good. I can change colors. So match it to my brand, set that background, uh, your favorite con. That's really important. A lot of people forget to do that. But it's very important for your branding that when someone bookmarks your site, that bookmark, that favor, that, that favor con is going to show in the bookmark bar. And you want that to be your logo, just another portion of branding for you. Uh, they got some SEO um, things in here for SEO purposes. Uh, they've got some social sharing things in here with the open graph tags. So that makes it easy for things to look right when they share it on Facebook and Twitter. And this is where you can create your uh, domain, which is nice. Um, and then the, it looks like a live so this is how you can set your course and your 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 lessons preferences. So that that's good. Uh, I, I shouldn't have any users at this point other than myself. But okay, so this is looks like where I can add other people with various roles to help build my course. So that's that's great for teams. And this looks like a certificate section here. Now I won't use this. We don't actually give certificates when people take our course, but that's a that's a nice touch if you want to. I as a as I go through training, I don't care about these certificates. They end up right in the trash. But I, I know in, in some organizations these certificates are the things that get you promotions and get your pay raises and you have to put those in your uh performance. We'll come back to course. I'm gonna do that last. Let's look at statistics. So this looks like a different more of a transactional level uh detail of that dashboard. So that's good. And then um, Enterprise, let's see what's under here. So that's an upgrade. That's an upsell type of uh, ability. So it looks like they have even more beyond what I'm working with now. Let's go in here and add a, create a quick course just to see. So I'm going to call this how to install Yerby just as an example. Sure, I can update and edit all these after the fact. Um, but it should be a really easy sort of, drag and drop builder a new lesson let's call this getting started and then inside this lesson I can probably add text yep yep so this this looks really seamless now one thing that I always encourage is including a uh, video into your 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 content so that'll probably be something that uh, let's see what we can figure out here I, I, let's start typing here I'm looking for any kind of overlays where I can include different uh, text types, and I'm not seeing that right now. So in this editor, it seems to be only text, but I know for a fact that you can put in, ah, here we go. So this will be the ability for you to insert an image, insert your embeddable code, which would be your videos. In our case, we have all our videos hosted on Wistia. You can check out our video on why we do that and how you can leverage the Wistia chapters and annotations to make your courses and your videos that much more effective. But you'll see that. So we'll 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 look at that. And so it looks like if I were to put in a new line, I can get to tables. What's this little icon here represent? Oh, that's just back to text, I guess. Uh, so images, embeddable code, and this would be a table that you could define. So your your, your standard WYSIWYG. Uh, in this particular case and then you can go through and add additional lessons inside of here so pretty standard stuff uh, I'm going to continue to work with this and uh, this is a seven day trial that I have access to uh, and uh, you know stay tuned for more videos if you like these types of uh, how-to videos or overviews of onboarding uh, technology processes subscribe to our YouTube channel um, go out and like our Facebook page uh, and even join our um, uh, Facebook private community uh, of tech smart bosses where we talk about these types of things all the time.